Listen up, I'm Brian Pond. Amanda. And this is Take, Take Me Out Food Reviews. Reviews. Today we are making a little channel history with Nong Shim's Soon Veggie Noodle Soup. And it is not only vegan, it is registered with the Vegan Society. So we're going to enjoy it. And there's going to be two parts to this review. Well, it's already been cooked per its instructions. We did it with uh, kettle heat heated water. We didn't microwave it. Don't ever eat. with Nongshim. I do not recommend putting this in the microwave. Yeah, I don't think it would go well. Uh, I I understand. Yeah, it's not what it looks like. Yeah, it's one of those we want to show it, but we don't want to spill it on our table. Uh, but let's see. It smells good. Yeah, it smells good, and we brought some curry with us so that we could cause it recommended mixing it with a bit of curry powder. Yep, try it with curry powder. Hmm. So, I'm gonna do it a little bit. I'm gonna say right now it's got a nice, it's got a nice flavor to it right off, and smell right off the bat. So, as far as noodle bowls go, this is kind of a health food. Let's see, where's the good old salt? 310 calories, sodium 1,310 milligrams. Hmm. So if you're wanting salty noodles, you know, they got you covered. Hmm. Um, that's not a dig at it. I'm, I, I'm, I brine food sometimes, so I'm not going to go, what? Salt? No, no. Um, the veggie-wise, it's got ample green onions, which is great. We love green. We stand green onions in this household. Right, and it's got carrot slices, but it's got they're kind of like that shredded. It's the shredded carrot. So there's some corn and mushrooms and mushrooms. So it's a very very basic veggie bun. To me, Nongshim is known for their spicy foods, well, spicy noodles. Hmm? They're known for it. I have not encountered one of their product yet that was not spicy. This one is spicy, but it's more on the milder version of spicy. I haven't got, is it? Or am I just? No, this, this is mild. You know what I'm saying? On the mild version of spicy, like it's, like you got that little bit of that kick, but it's not like, for me. It's got that little bit of a kick, but it's not like overly, overly spicy. Like it's just enough spice to, you know, give you that little bit of a heat. I would not have registered this as spicy if you hadn't brought it up. Uh, oh, I would say it's on par with Taco Bell's mild, mild. Yeah. if not a doubt, doubt slower than that. So yeah, you cray cray. I'm gonna try it with a little curry powder since they recommended it. So we're just using some basic uh, members mark tones. We got this at Costco. As you can see, we like curry in this household. This curry powder is uh, good. So I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna say the flavor the, it stands on its own. Own it doesn't need it doesn't need anything. But Nongshim did recommend it because like it's literally like right on the side. So and I gotta say it, it's good with curry powder. That's a good recommendation. I think I prefer it with a with little dose of curry powder. I, I they, they were definitely right there. Um. As for anything else I'd add to it, I think red paper flake flakes would go good, but I don't think I would go with uh, like, you know, uh, crushed red peppers would probably go good with this. I don't think I would add soy sauce. No, no, no. Um, and if you want to add more veggies, go right ahead. I'll I'd say more dehydrated veggies. I would I wouldn't add fresh veggies to this. Or if you decide to do fresh veggies, throw out the uh, dehydrated. Yeah. No. I'm gonna rate this one highly. I think this is a this is a ten out of ten. It beats expectations. The uh, Pal the uh, soup mix they bring with it is tasty. It's salty, of course, but that's what you're, what you're looking for with this kind of product. 
And then the uh, veggie mix they, they had has everything you want. So for our first vegan item, I, I can, did I say a nine or a 10? 10. Yeah. I love it because this is different for me because like, as I said, like if you're familiar with Nong Shim and their noodles, they got some heat behind it. It's not like over, over heat, but you know, their food is spicy. Well, their noodles are spicy. This one, I like because it's more mild on the spice. So if you can't handle like a lot of spiciness to it, this would be good for you. I also like the fact that like, they did cater to the vegans out there. Yeah, get, we, like we looked up the vegan society cause we were like, oh, that's a thing. And we'll definitely be reviewing more of their food because we want to have more vegan and vegetarian food in our diet. Are we vegan? No, and we're not going to pretend to be, but I respect, the, I respect that lifestyle. I think it's noble to want to... I think it's noble to not want to eat animals, and I think a lot of people, especially here in Alabama, do need more fruits and vegetables in their diets. Support your local farmer's markets. And enjoy these uh, veggie delights ordained by the vegan society. <laughs> Now, I will say this, with these, with this particular brand of noodles, Nong Jim, you can't do, they do have them at Costco and Walmart, but it's not every flavor. This one and one that we previously reviewed, their seaweed, seaweed? Yeah, it was seaweed, or seaweed one. Um, you, I couldn't find it at Costco. It's not sold at Walmart. It might be available at your Walmart and Costco. You know, you just have to check. But I had to go to the local Asian market. Um, which is literally right down the street from my Costco. To get the, to get these. Because I do love Nong Shim. But they were out of the one I really wanted to get. Which was? I, I, don't, correct me if I'm wrong, but... Probably pronounced wrong. The capiguri. I have had it only one time. Yeah. So if you know where to get it, let us know. We'll. I don't mind ordering it. Yeah. Nonchim is also available on Amazon too. I also follow them on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And if any local shop shops are like, hey, dinguses, we have it here at our uh, at our small local business. Yeah, we'll definitely come get buy it yeah. from y'all. I'll pay. Yeah. Oh, really good. 10 out of 10. Yeah, 10 out of 10. We will be having this one again because I enjoy it. And these were actually decently priced. I think they were $1.50 a cup. Mm hmm Yep. And considering that price mark uh, for an individually wrapped product, and these were individuals, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's definitely worth the money. Mm. That was freaking good. 10 out of 10. Okay. Buy more nudes. This has been Take Me Out Food Review. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.